we're in Anglo-Saxon England, and this time I've used Anglo-Saxon law and uh, an Anglo-Saxon psalter to recreate the life of the corn dolly. Also references to Bede in his Temporum Angorum on the passage of time. So the poem is called The Corn Dolly. Goddess Nervous, out of thou womb born, Goddess Prig became queen of the corn, cared for and nurtured by Waldorf they dawn, plentiful abundance for winter's store. Standing tall and straight, we do thee adore, sudden end with sharp blade, as if to war. Thy neck will be cut with the greatest of care, thine spirit set free by he who doth dare. With a flying scythe falling to the ground, into three sheaves to be twisted and bound, preserving the spirit of summer's corn, to be reborn again, we shout not mourn. The corn queen spirit, now safely preserved, first loaf of bread in the rigs to be served. The, to the corn queen, let us feast and wassail, to a harvest queen, let us now wassail. Preserved through the long winter months of bloom, looking and guarding over spinning loom, in New Year's soil, the brook be reborn, our offering to a new crop of corn. We fashion thee into a small salt cake, to keep thine life whole, we will not be bake. Into the mud, we return thee to earth, Dolly, a symbol of goddess rebirth. The Dolly's power to be now released, after so much ploughing the drinking feast, much ale to be drunk, this soul enough day, tomorrow we plough, but tonight we play. Hail to thee, Nerfus, earth mother of men, five blades for thine head and thine fingers ten, filled with ample rations to bring us grace, be fruitful in, or door for doors, embrace.